Hey guys, welcome to Jack's Beautiful You. In today's video, we're doing a good old-fashioned declutter. I have fragrances that I am moving into my collection, and of course, that means sometimes fragrances need to move out of my collection. I am really working on curating my collection and getting rid of any fragrances that I only like, or if I don't just absolutely love it, if I don't feel like I'm going to wear it, if it's not doing it for me, then I am going to be getting rid of these fragrances. So I wanted to get the last of these out. I've done quite a few declutters in 2022, so if you're curious to see what all I've decluttered last year, then check those out for sure, but I think that these are the last of them. So I've actually already decluttered them. They're not in my collection anymore. I will just be showing you a picture of them. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jackie. Thank you so much for clicking on my thumbnail today. I really appreciate you. And if you like this video and find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, do, let's get into this video. All right, the first fragrance I got rid of is by Al Haramain, and this is Amber Oud, the Tobacco Edition. This fragrance I told you guys I was gonna be decluttering. It just did not work out for me. I found the spiciness of this fragrance to be too much. There are so many spices in here. There's cinnamon, there's black pepper, there's star anise, there's cloves. I think that's what really got me is the heavy, heavy dose of cloves that my nose picked up in this fragrance. It definitely had some very, very sweet tobacco, and there was something in it that almost smelled a little medicinal to me, and I really did not enjoy it. I actually had to scrub it off. It's a really good performing perfume. It was very loud and definitely a good uh, performing fragrance for sure. A lot of people said that that fragrance smells or is a dupe of Tom Ford's tobacco vanille. So, I was super curious about that because it'd been a little while since I had smelled tobacco vanille and I just couldn't believe that this fragrance was really a dupe for tobacco vanille, but so many people said that it was and so I had to find out. So I did actually purchase a decant of Tom Ford's tobacco vanille. So that is another fragrance that I have decluttered. <laughs> I purchased it, I smelled it, I decluttered it because Surprisingly, Amber Oud Tobacco is in fact a dupe for Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille for sure. The only difference is Al Haramain's Amber Oud, the Tobacco Edition, is definitely less refined. Like I had to scrub that fragrance off. It felt so harsh, so scratchy, so spicy, so sweet, medicinal, everything. It was just a big, big no for me, and I really disliked that fragrance. Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille was a lot smoother. It was a lot more refined. It was a lot easier to wear. I didn't feel the need to necessarily scrub it off of me, but I knew right away it wasn't the fragrance for me. So yes, they're dupes for each other, but Tom Ford's version is way smoother and better blended and doesn't have as many harsh edges. You know, everything's nice and smooth. Regardless, neither one of those fragrances were for me. The cloves were just overpowering, just too strong. I actually had my husband try Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille to see if he liked it. He put it on his skin and the cloves were overpowering for him as well. He did not enjoy it, so I have now decluttered both Amber Oud Tobacco and Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. All right, I also decluttered by Van Cleef and R. Pals. This is Boy Doré. And this is a fragrance that I just thought for sure I was gonna love, and I actually did kind of like it. I didn't think it was a bad fragrance. It definitely wasn't a scrubber for me, but I was kind of surprised because it wasn't exactly the way I thought it was going to. A lot of people had described this fragrance as like a vanilla ice creamy kind of fragrance. And while I did find there to be a pretty smooth vanilla note in there, there are two notes at the top that don't really make this feel like a gourmand to me. So the two notes at the top are black pepper and then mineral notes. And when I eat a bowl of ice cream, <laughs> I don't usually put black pepper and mineral notes on them. So for me, it just kind of, I was expecting a more gourmand, but the black pepper took away from that gourmand feel for me. It just wasn't my favorite. Now I do like black pepper in my fragrances and I actually like the combination of black pepper and vanilla. So that part was wasn't really what ruined it for me. I think it was the mineral notes. I don't really know what mineral notes are supposed to smell like, but to me it was very salty and almost kind of metallic smelling, and that just wasn't that just wasn't my favorite thing. So I did think it was a good fragrance. It actually had pretty good lasting power as well, had pretty good performance. There's also almond and there's tobacco in here as well. There's cedar, there's tonka bean, there's woody notes in the base, and there's some musk in that fragrance as well. I really liked 
the fragrance for the most part. It was just the mineral notes. I think that was just something in that fragrance just did not sit right with me. So I wore it a couple of times and I just thought, you know what, this just isn't working out. I'm not really enjoying this. There's something in here that's just rubbing me the wrong way and I'm gonna go ahead and declutter. All right, up next we have by Nest, the Madagascar Perfume Oil. So I actually really like this perfume oil when I first got it. I found it to be really good for layering, especially with other vanilla fragrances, but something happened Happened as I wore this fragrance. The more I wore it, the more I started picking up something in it, and I think it's coconut. So the notes in here it says vanilla bean in the top. In the mid, there's vanilla orchid, which I usually really like, so I don't think that's an issue. And then there's also coconut in the base, which normally I love, but somehow, some way, the coconut in here started to smell off to me. It just smelled off, like almost like it had gone bad. I'm not really sure if it's just my nose or if the fragrance just went bad, but it just started to smell like kind of like a bad coconut, like a a rotting coconut in the fragrance. So I actually was getting ready to declutter that one. I was actually going to sell it on Macari, but I tried it one more time because I honestly just thought I was picking up on the coconut and I was starting to not enjoy that. It didn't really dawn on me that the fragrance itself might be going bad. And so I tried it one more time and then I took it off Macari because I, I wasn't sure if maybe the fragrance is just gone off. So I didn't feel comfortable selling it. So I took it off of Macari and did not sell it. I'm just going to throw it away. So Madagascar perfume oil from Nest is now out of my collection. All right, up next we have by Mansara Choco Violet. I did let go of this fragrance. I don't know what happened because when I first got this fragrance, I really loved it, but something happened as I began to wear it more and more. So when I first got that fragrance, I did smell the violet, but it was very subtle. It was very toned down. It was almost like candied violets to my nose. And I really liked the contrast between the chocolate and the hazelnut and the violets. And it smelled really good and I really enjoyed it. It has really great performance. And I really did like it. It was a blind buy and I thought it was a successful blind buy, but the more that that I kept wearing the fragrance, the more I kept smelling the violet stronger and stronger until the violet just became overpowering and I really began to dislike the fragrance. And that contrast that I enjoyed started to become something that I didn't like at all and I found it to be incredibly annoying. The last time I wore it, I wore it one more time just to make sure. And the last time I wore it, I was like, it confirmed it. I just thought, nope, this is not for me. I do not enjoy this. And I struggle with violet in my fragrances. I should have known better. It needed to go to a better home. So I have decluttered by Mansara Choco Violet. I also told you guys I was thinking about decluttering Illicit by Jimmy Choo, and I did go ahead and declutter that one. I used to really like that fragrance, but something just happened over time. I found it to be an okay fragrance. Like I never thought it was a bad fragrance. I went from really liking it. I got it when I first started collecting perfumes and I thought it was nice. It's a honey, sweet, caramel fragrance that I do think is good, especially for the price. It's pretty affordable. I had it on my tray, not December, I think in November, and I picked it up like once or twice. And when I wore it, I thought, Eh, it's just not doing much for me. It really was just a like. It definitely wasn't a love and I decided I needed to let that one go. So there's ginger and bitter orange in the opening of that and I do like that ginger. Normally I like ginger in my fragrances and I did think it smelled nice in this fragrance as well. There's also jasmine, there's orange blossom, there's rose, there's honey in this fragrance which I definitely picked up on and there's definitely some caramel in here as well. Vanilla, sandalwood, and cashmere wood. I found the overall composition of this fragrance to be okay, but not great. I think that the more I wore it, the more I realized how, you know, it just wasn't the smoothest fragrance, the best blended fragrance I think I've ever smelled. You know what I mean? So it was a like, but not a love. Not a bad fragrance by any means, but one that I just felt like I no longer would be reaching for. So that is by Jimmy Choo Illicit. Okay, so the last fragrance that I decluttered is by Tiziana Terenzi. This is Borea or Borea. This is a fragrance that I heard so many people talking about over the summer. People were raving about it and saying it was a beautiful white floral fragrance. I love white florals, so I thought this was gonna be a no-brainer. And at first it really is. So when I first smell this fragrance, the opening of it was absolutely beautiful. I loved 
the opening. I even love the mid, but it's the dry down that got me. So there's oak moss in the dry down of this, and the oak moss came across on my skin like bad breath, and that is a no for me. <laughs> I'm not into it. So there's coconut, almond, pear, and plum in the opening. I love all of those notes. Like I said, it was a beautiful, sweet, fruity, coconutty, delicious yummy opening that I truly, truly loved. And then there's tuberose, there's jasmine, freesia, and rose in the mid, which I'm a big fan of all of those floral notes. Definitely got a white floral vibe from the fragrance. There's vanilla, musk, and sandalwood in the dry down, which if they would have just stopped there, if they would have just stopped there, I would have loved this fragrance because I adore vanilla, musk, and sandalwood in the bases of my perfumes, but then they threw in the oak moss completely ruined it for me. The oak moss was very strong and like I said came across as bad breath and I cannot handle that. It was a really good performing perfume and I know a lot of people love it. I doubt that it turns into bad breath on everybody. I think it's just a skin chemistry thing but I was never gonna wear it so I went ahead and decluttered that fragrance as well. So that's it you guys. This was just kind of a short quick video letting you know of the fragrances that I have moved out of my collection. Stay tuned because I have fragrances coming into my collection. I do have a haul video for you. I have some amazing perfumes that I truly love that I have added into my collection and I've already broken my blind buy rule. I have a couple of blind buys <laughs> that I have ordered as well so I'm going to be sharing all of that with you. So please make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you are not already so you do not miss my next haul video. I really appreciate you being here. If you like this video and found it helpful please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.